morning, everyone. Good morning. Do you remember the stranger right here? Okay. Oh, people are commenting. I can't see from here, but that's okay. Oh, it's just the people watching, tuning in. Oh, wonderful. Okay. So we'll get started in about a minute. Yeah. Yeah, just let people roll in. So what do they need for the cops? Okay, so I have a few things prepared. So for those just tuning in, uh, the bare minimum you need is just a tennis ball. Uh, if you don't even have that, that's okay. I'll be showing you some stretches uh, and modifications. But for a start, if you have a tennis ball, that's amazing. If you have a hard ball, like a lacrosse ball or a hockey ball, that's even better. Uh, if you have two, you can also use a sock like I made here. Just two tennis balls and a sock, tie it off, and that gets you a peanut roller. But if you already have a peanut roller pre-made, that's even better. Okay, so I'll give everyone another 30 seconds. How is the sound here? Can you guys hear as well? Can you hear the music in the right background? Again. Do you want a little bit louder? Just let us know. I can also project more if I'm not. We know you have out. a loud voice. <laughs> Just give us a thumbs up, let us know, and then we'll get started. I want to make sure the volume is good for everyone. Um, and if you can hear the music in the background or if you want it louder. Got a thumbs up. Who's excited about this class? I know I am. Cynthia, oh hey, hello. Jenny, yeah. hello. Good morning. Renee? It's, it's good. good. Okay. Okay, so all good. Perfect. Enjoy the class, everyone. All right. So, good morning. I'm gonna go quickly over what you need again for those just tuning in. Uh, you'll need, at the bare minimum, a tennis ball. Uh, if you have a lacrosse ball or a hockey ball, that's even better. If you have two tennis balls or two uh, lacrosse balls, you can put them into a sock, like I made here, for your own little peanut roller. If you already have your own pre-made peanut roller, that's even better. Uh, optional as well, if you have a foam roller, like so. Uh, I'll be showing some variations in the foam roller. If you don't have that, that's okay. We can just switch to the tennis ball. So, we're gonna get started with some deep breathing. So try to sit as comfortably as you can. Feel free to grab a cushion or a towel underneath your bum if you need to uh, be a little more comfortable. Now let's get started. I'm gonna ask you first to breathe in for five seconds and then breathe out for five seconds. We're gonna do that about six times. So starting in three, two, and one. Breathing in. So right underneath your cheek, you want to put it in kind of the squishiest part, the meatiest part of your glute. And from here we have two variations. We can either place our ankle, uh, sorry, whichever side the ball's on, we're going to take that ankle, place it on top of the other one, and lean over. And we just roll around and really work into any kind of knots. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see it a little better. For those who are a little more flexible, you can also place your ankle on your knee like so, and feel free to really dig in roll around. So to be here for another about 30 seconds, it's a few to just really 
work, and that whole area. Um, if you don't have a ball, you can also use a foam roller. That's fine too, for those who don't have a ball, but do have a roller, you just go back and forth, that exact same position, either ankle on the knee or ankle down here, if your flexibility doesn't allow it. Excellent. So we have just another 15 seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides. The whole time, if you can, try and breathe in a couple seconds in, and then a couple seconds out. And just really work on any kind of tightness or soreness especially if they're feeling stiff from sitting around a whole bunch. All right, so now we're gonna switch sides. So if we take your tennis ball or a hockey ball or lacrosse ball, and the same thing, but on the other side. So place it underneath the other cheek. The two variations are either your ankle, whichever side the ball is on, that ankle is gonna go on top of the other ankle. You can just move around, or if you're more flexible, you can also place your ankle on your knee or thigh, and really dig in. Excellent. Just feel free to work that for the next about 45 seconds. I'm gonna get a little closer so I can see the comments. Yes, I see you. Aw, thank you guys. It's nice seeing you all too. Okay, so keep going for another about 30 seconds. Just really work into those glutes as much as you can. And uh, just like in my live class uh, in the studios, I also take requests, so if you have anything in particular, feel free to post it, and then I'll see if I can catch it uh, in between. We can get to it. We'll for sure be doing glutes, thighs, a little bit of low back, a little bit of shoulder blades. We'll be getting all of those. If we have anything specific, feel free to post it, and hopefully I can get to it. All right. And three, two, and one. Excellent. Now, we're going to do our thighs next. So you can either use the ball or the foam roller. Either one's okay. I'll show you with the ball first. So we're going to lie face down. We're going to place the ball just above our knee. I'm going to go a little closer so I can show you. So just our kneecap right here. We're going to take the ball, place it just above right where it's nestled in. And from there, we're going to lie face down. We're going to bend our knee from 90 to straight. I'm going to show you from the side. So right about there, but we're lying face down. So again, take the ball, place it just underneath the knee. We're going to be face down. We're going to be here just for about 45 seconds to a minute, just slowly working into that side. Now, if you don't have a ball, we have a foot roller. You can also, the same placement, place it just above the knee. The advantage is you can do either both at the same time, or just really focus on the one. Either one's okay, whatever you got going on. And with all of these, for the whole hour, try not to rush it, try to move slowly, and try to breathe in and breathe out a few seconds at a time, if you can. Excellent. So about 10 more seconds, and then we'll switch sides. Now we're going to switch sides, so if you're on the roller, feel free to just again switch legs. However, if you have the ball, I'm just going to remind you of the placement. For the ball, we want to make sure we're just above the knee like so, and we're going to bend and extend our knee, but lying face down. So like so. Just working through that full range of motion. Really taking our time. So for about 20 more seconds. So while we're doing that, I'm just going to check in the comments, see if you got any requests in the meantime. Okay. Obviously hip flexors. Okay, sure. So, speaking of, we're going to go for the hip flexors now. Again, we have uh, two options. We can do it with the ball or with the foam roller, whichever one you have at home. We're going to start with the ball. The placement's a little funny. We're going to first going to take our ball, 
we're gonna find right where our hips bend. So right where you can kind of bend your hips at 90 degrees like so, right where it cuts in, we're gonna dig your fingers, feel for a little bit of a mushy area. It's gonna be just below our hip bone. We're gonna take the ball, dig it right into that spot. Make sure you're not on bone. You wanna be in the, in the fleshy area just below the hip flexor, or just below the hip bone. From there, you're gonna lie face down, lean your hips towards the ball, and just feel free to work that back and forth right into that area. For those with the foam roller, the exact same placement. You're gonna have your knee bend, your knee bend your hip at 90 degrees. Right in that groove, you're gonna place the foam roller right there. Lie face down. Lean your hips towards the side that you chose. And then go back and forth, just working. Uh, be mindful here not to flex your thigh or curl your toes or hold tension in your neck or shoulders. Try to be as relaxed as you can. If you're thinking, wow, he's got really tight in the past six weeks, uh, that's okay and that's normal. Just work it the best you can. about 15 more seconds here and then we'll switch sides and again if you have any requests feel free to place them in the chat and hopefully I can get to them Tuning in late. We're gonna bring the leg up here at 90 degrees, wherever that cutoff is, right in the hip flexor. We're gonna place that right on top of the roller. Lean our hips about 45 degrees towards that side and just work back and forth right into that area. And for those that have a ball, like a tennis ball or a hockey ball, you can place that in the same spot, but it's a little more concentrated, it's a little tougher. So feel free to work that for the next 30 or so seconds. I'm gonna check the comments for any requests. Can we do feet please? Absolutely. Neck, upper shoulders, back is always good. Okay, yeah, we'll get to the shoulder blades. All right, excellent. So keep working those hip flexors for the next about 15 seconds. And just really try to dig right into that area right where the crease of your hip is. About five more seconds, five. One, three, two, and one. So we're gonna do the feet now. Uh, a tennis ball or something a little squishier is actually best for the feet. Uh, you can use a lacrosse ball or a hockey ball if you want. It's just uh, really hard for some people because the foot tends to be uh, pretty sensitive. So a uh, tennis ball is great, but if you only have a lacrosse ball or hockey ball, uh, that's okay too. So the placement, we're gonna start with the um, arch of the foot. So right where your uh, big toe is, right underneath uh, that spot. So big toe, kind of the balls of your feet, right underneath your big toe. You're gonna work from there, right along your arch to the heel. So right along that whole groove. I'm gonna show you from the inside. So start your big toe, press down, and work right along that arch. And can you see my foot from there? You can, okay. Excellent, just working right along, trying to squish it as best you can. And again, you wanna move slowly, and deliberately. If you can the whole time, try to breathe a couple seconds in and a couple seconds out. Excellent. For about 50 more seconds. It's really working. If you want to hold in a particular spot and press, that's fine too. Okay, so about 10 more seconds. Just really working through any kind of tension. switch to the inside of the foot. So from the bottom here, we're gonna go right between the balls of the feet right there and roll right along the middle of her foot, right up until the nook of her heel. Don't go onto the uh, bony part of your heel, go right up until the nook and then roll right back and forth there. So I'll show you from the side. So press it between the balls of your feet, squish it as much as you can, then roll right along the inside For about 35 seconds. It's really taking her time. And again, 
Try to breathe a couple seconds in. And breathe a couple seconds out. And for those just tuning in, because I see the numbers are going up, which is great, um, you'll need a tennis ball and a foam roller in case you're just tuning in now. About 10 more seconds. switch sides. So again, we're going to place it just near the big toe, right into the balls of your feet, but underneath the big toe. And we're, our goal is to roll right along from our arch to put the nook of our heel and right along the arch back to our big toe. Starting here, and I can actually get a little closer and see if there's any updates. Okay. So again, if you have any, if you have any requests, feel free to put them in the chat. You know, if I can get to them. So far, there haven't been that many. So it's been very easy to accommodate. So again, if you have requests, feel free to toss them into the chat. Okay. Just run right along our arch here for the next 20 seconds. of our feet again. So from here, try to get between the balls of your feet and we're going to roll right along the middle, right to the nook of your heel, and then right back to the balls of our feet. So we do that for about 35 or so seconds. So press down firmly and roll right along the middle of your foot. Also, thank you all for tuning in. Hope your day is going well. I hope the rest of your day is a little more relaxing after this. About 20 more seconds. Just slowly working in. And keep in mind, try to breathe in a couple seconds. Maybe three, four, or five. And then breathe out at the same pace. And five. A stretch now. So we're going to stretch the sides, our obliques, and our what's called our QL, and then we're going to do a little bit of a hip flexor stretch. So we're going, to, we're going to start, there's two positions that you can be in. If you can do a half lotus like so, that's great. Uh, if this is not possible for flexibility, that's okay. You can either sit cross-legged, or if that's still too much, you can just sit open with your legs in or your legs out. Whichever way is fine. I'll be sitting in half lotus, but sit any way that's comfortable for you. So from here, if you're in half lotus, whichever leg is on the bottom, you're gonna sit up nice and tall. Your goal is to your goal is to take your hand, reach it right above your head, and lean away from the bottom most leg. So you're gonna reach over and try to stretch right along the side here. You're gonna take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale try and stretch over as much as you can. For those sitting cross-legged, it's whichever leg is closer, and for those sitting in an open position, just whichever side you want. It doesn't matter. So to hold that for about 20 more seconds. So about three really big breaths. So leaning over, deep inhale, and then exhale. You're gonna feel a big stretch from the side of your ribs right down to the side of your hips. Just leaning over and stretching. Excellent, opening up, and now we're gonna switch sides. So if you can, sit in half lotus like so. Um, if that's not possible, cross legged is a-okay, whichever leg is closer. And if that's still not possible, open legs, or even just like this, it's fine too. So here, whichever leg is on the bottom, or if you're sitting cross legged, whichever leg is closer, we're gonna sit up nice and tall, take a deep breath in, over, reach up towards the sky, and then lean over and exhale. And deep breath in. And 
and exhale. And one more. And then exhale. Okay, then we're gonna do a quick hip flexion stretch and we'll get back to the rolling. So from here, our goal is to go into a lunge position. We're gonna have one foot in front of us, one leg behind. Um, if this is too much on your knee, feel free to roll up a towel or roll up your yoga mat for some extra cushioning, that's fine too. So from here, we're gonna take our front knee, we're gonna turn it a little bit towards the outside. So try to keep your foot flat, rotate that knee towards the outside. Once this is open, we're gonna try to tuck in our tummy, we're gonna try to scoop up our tailbone. So imagine scooping that tailbone up underneath you and then pushing your whole body forward. You wanna feel a stretch right in here, maybe top of the thigh, a little bit in the hip flexors. We're just gonna hold that for about 25, 30 seconds. Especially here, try to breathe in. And then breathe out. seconds here. Just really try to sink in and feel a stretch right in the hips, maybe top of the thigh. So we're going to find our hip, we're going to find our hip flexor. The way we find that is bend your thigh at 90 degrees. Dig into here to feel like a bony, to feel like kind of the bony part of your hip. Once you've found that, you're going to find kind of the side of your hip now. So take your palm or your fingertips, dig in here as much as you can to feel like a bony lump. Now between those two points, you should feel kind of the side of your bum. It should be a little squishy. If you're still unsure, you can just place it back in the squishy part of your glute. That's a safe place to put it. So from here, once the ball is on our side, I'm going to try and lie on it. Just roll right into that area. So we're going to hang out here with straight legs if we can. This might be a little rough. If you're having trouble, feel free to post it in the chat. I'm happy to add a correction or two. But again, you want to have it below our hip bone, but above our the side of our hip. If you're not sure, feel free to move a little bit forward and just plunk it right in the squishy part of your butt. Just hang out here for a bit and try to breathe. You can also lie down, just have a place to rest your head. That's fine too. So about 10 more seconds here, 10. We're going to try to bring them to the second position, which is at about 45 degrees. Just have your legs out straight. If this is too much, you can also bend your knees a little bit to soften it. Uh, this is still too much. You can even take your uh, top leg and ease it off just to take the weight off. That's fine too. We're trying to keep your legs at about 45 degrees. Just let that sink in. And then 
we're gonna move into a one more position after this. Just hang up here. Try and breathe in for a couple seconds. And then try to breathe out for a couple seconds. Try to make a nice right angle. If that's not possible, you can bend your knees so they form like you're sitting in a chair. A nice 90 degree angle there, that's fine too. So whatever is com comfortable for you. If you can have it with your legs out, excellent. If you can't, bent at 90 degrees is a-okay. We're gonna be here for another 30 seconds. Just try to breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. And again, if you have any, uh, if you have any suggestions or any uh, requests, feel free to post it in chat and I'll be sure to get to it. Good. 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. From here, we're going to switch sides. So again, I'm going to show you the landmarking one more time. Try to find your hip flexor. If The way you find that is bend your thigh or flex your thigh or your hip at 90 degrees. Take your hand, dig it into here, so you feel like a bony, kind of the, the, your hip bone right in the front here. So bend your knee, dig in so you feel the bony part of your hip. Once you've found that, try to find where your leg bone begins, right in kind of the, you feel like a bony circle or lump. If you can't find it, that's okay. Just feel free to go backwards to feel the squishy part of your bum. You can stick the ball right there. We'll lay on our side, like so. upright like this and let it dig in or you can rest your head on your arm just kind of hang loose we're here for another 25 or so seconds and then we'll slowly move up again and if you're having trouble hearing me or if you're not listening not clear again feel free to post it and i'll be sure to get to it seconds in and a couple seconds in. Now from here we're going to slowly move our leg about to 45 degrees so if you can right along here just hang out there. Uh, if that's too much with your legs on top of each other you can move your other leg off or just be on a slight off angle so you don't have as much pressure on the side of your bum or the side of your hip. To hang out at 45 degrees if you can. If not, you can always return to the beginning position and just hang out there. That's fine too. You're going at your own pace. About 15 seconds here. Just breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. If that's not possible, you can bend your knees at 90 degrees like so, like you're sitting in a chair, that's fine too. You find this is aggressive with your legs straight. So in a chair like this at 90 degrees or with your legs fully out, that's fine too. I'm going to hang out here for about 30 seconds. post it and I'll see if I can correct it uh, remotely. If you're not quite feeling it, I'm happy to give uh, different instructions. About 10 seconds left. Here, uh, if you 
have a foam roller, we're going to use that now. Uh, if you don't, we can do it from the floor. I'll show you both variations. Yeah. I saw that Eric's watching. If Cheryl's watching, this one's for you. Uh, we're going to face up on the roller. Try to align your tailbone, your head, and your shoulders with the roller. We're going to have our palms face up. Roll your shoulders back, try to turn your thumbs backwards, palms towards the sky, and we're slowly going to open up through our chest and shoulders. Avoid flapping your arms quickly, you really want to take your time. Just really soak it in. Um, if you don't have a uh, foam roller, that's fine, you can do it from the floor. Just try to lift your hands. Sorry, if you don't have a foam roller, just try and lift your hands, palms face up, try to sit up on your shoulder blades, your shoulders back and just slowly stretch along the ground just opening up like this this is fine too if you don't have a roller um, if you only have a short roller like the half size ones if you only have one of these at home uh, you may have to hold a little bit of a bridge but it is possible to just open up like this or you can support yourself this one's a little more work, but this is all you have. This is an option. If this is too much, again, from the floor, it's a-okay. So we double check if there have been any requests in the meantime. So keep opening up. You want to keep your shoulders rolled back, palms towards the sky, just stretching open right along this whole area. Cheryl, oh, perfect. You are watching. Excellent. Okay, so about 20 more seconds, just opening up and stretching as much as you can. You want to feel a nice pull across your chest and into your shoulders. Slowly opening up for 20 more seconds. Okay. Just adjusting my clock here, sorry about that. Okay. sideways. Uh, we don't want to push into our low back. We want to stick to the middle of our back to the upper part of our spine. So if using the big roller, place it on the middle of your back. We're going to lift our hips up, cross our arms or support our head. Either one's fine. And just roll right along the middle of your back, working through any kind of extra tension there, especially if you've been hunched over a computer or if you've been 10 hours of Zoom meetings over the past couple days. Really just gonna try to work out all that tension through the roller. So you can also use the half roller. The position's exactly the same. Like so. You're just working through any kind of tension right along there. Um, if you don't have a roller at home, that's okay. But you can here. Is use a tennis ball or a hockey ball. You can place it right along here to your shoulder blades and just roll that right against the wall that's fine too even better if you have one of these like a peanut roller or if you have two tennis balls in a sock like i've made here just a couple of variations two tennis balls in the sock is a great um, at home fix you also place that in the same area right about here and just roll up and down that's fine too so the roller, the tennis ball, or the two tennis balls in the sock, or a peanut, all those are fine options. So keep going with that. Excellent. So uh, we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna switch to the front now. Uh, this one we can do either on the floor or against a wall, depending on what you have around. All you'll need is just a tennis ball. Or even better if you have a hockey ball or a lacrosse ball. So from here, we're going to start with our palm open like this. We're going to pull our shoulder blades back, have our elbow at 90 degrees. We're going to place this right in the right in the shoulder girl right here. And our goal is to press against the wall or press against the floor and just really work right into this whole front shoulder area. So we're against the wall. It'll be like this. Just 
working into that working into that whole area. If you're on the floor, you place it in the same area. Then whichever side the ball is on, you want to lean towards that side and just work into it. You can just use your hand. You want to just massage and just work right into that area. Avoid coming up to your neck. Again, stick to below your collarbone. And just work right into that whole pec area. Just gently massaging and working through. So for about 15 more seconds here. Again, you can use the wall and roll into it. You can use the floor or you can just use your own hand. That's fine too. For about 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna switch sides. So I'll show you, for those just tuning in, a couple people just joined. We're gonna open up as much as we can, elbow at 90 degrees, uh, and shoulder at 90 degrees. Take the ball, place it into the meatiest part of your pec, or your chest. Just work right in front of the shoulder and into here. That whole area is a-okay. If you want, you can also use the wall. Up. Or you can use the floor and you just want to lean whichever side you're working, you want to lean towards that side. So if you're on the floor, you lean towards that side. Just feel free to try to let the ball sit there or just work into any kind of tight spots. Especially if you've been in a bunch of video calls and you find your shoulders are rolling forward, this is a good one just to kind of stretch and open up as much as we can. Excellent. So for about 20 more seconds, feel free to just really work into that whole area. And for those just joined, if you have any requests, uh, we've done a bit of the lower body already. But if you have any requests, feel free to post them and hopefully we can get to them. So about 10 more seconds, just really working into that whole area. And five. Excellent. From here, we're gonna switch. Uh, if you have a wall near you, uh, great. If you don't, that's okay. We're gonna try to do it uh, on the floor. So, uh, some of you already did this with the ball, but we're gonna try to go between our shoulder blades. So if you find your posture has been sinking forward, we're gonna try to open that up and dig right between our shoulder blades. So taking the ball, or a either a hockey ball, or a cross ball, or a tennis ball is fine. We're gonna try to place it right between our shoulder blades like so and only on one side. Don't go into the center. You want to stick to one side. So we're going to hug ourselves over, and our goal is to roll up and down, tracing the inside of our shoulder blade. Uh, don't go into the center. You want to be off to the side. So don't roll along your spine. You want to be maybe an inch or an inch and a half to either side. So stick to the inside of your shoulder blade and try to roll against the wall. Um, if you can't do that, on the floor is OK. So for placement, it's exactly the same. Place it right about there. So you place it there. You're gonna hug yourself. Just try to work right into the shoulder blade. Just slowly massaging and working into there. Um, if this is too challenging, feel free to use a tennis ball. It's a little softer and try to work that whole area. So we're gonna be here for about 25 more seconds. behind the other shoulder blade. So again, 
here. You want to place it behind the other shoulder blade. You want to try to hug yourself as much as you can. To really kind of expose your back, so hug yourself as much as possible and trace the ball along the inside of your shoulder blade. You can use the wall and just roll up and down, or you can use the floor and then you hug yourself and just kind of really work into the right into that back tissue. Um, avoid pressing into your spine. Again, you want to be a little bit off center. You never want to be on the actual joint. Thank you for those just tuning in. And if you have any uh, questions or any uh, requests, feel free to post them. I'm happy to accommodate. We still have some time left, about 15 or 20 minutes. So feel free to post anything you want to work on in particular. I'm happy to get to it. Okay, let's give everyone about 15 more seconds. Just really working right into the back. So right about here. And just and working it up and down. 10 seconds, nine, and five, four, three, two, and one. Uh, next, for those who have been uh, typing a lot or been on the computer a whole lot, we're actually gonna do our forearms. This is gonna look a little funny, but it'll be, uh, it'll be a good release just to get your fingers and forearms loose. So from here we have two options. We can either use the floor or we can just use our own hand. So the first placement, we're going to find our elbow, kind of the inside of our elbow. We're going to place the ball just above that, and we can either use our hands to just massage right along the inside of our forearm. If you find your fingers naturally curl, that's normal. If you're not getting quite enough uh, push here, you can also feel free to use the floor. And you can accomplish that by lying face down, placing it right in the same area, and just rolling right along the bottom part of our forearm. If your fingers naturally kind of curl, that's normal. Just try to work right along that whole area, especially if you've been doing a lot of typing, it might be a little stiff. Just massaging right along here. And here, try to, try to avoid moving quickly. Try to just really work into any kind of area that feels a little stiff. and high, try to find your elbow point, here the bony part, place the ball maybe an inch above it, and feel free to roll right along the inside of your forearm. Traps please, Justin. All right, we'll get to those. So rolling right along here, and you can also use the floor. If you find you're not getting a big enough push from your own arm. So same placement, start just above your elbow, and roll right along the inside of your forearm. If you get a natural curl, that's normal. Try to keep your fingers as relaxed as you can as you work out all those typing muscles. for traps and earlier we had a request for neck so we're going to get to two of those now so for this one um, if you have any neck sensitivities or if you find you have a like a clenchy jaw or if you have a lot of TMJ issues uh, take it easy on this one I'll show you a stretching variation uh, but if you want to we can also do the upper traps so the placement for this one we're going to take the ball but we'll also place it just behind the upper trap if you're not sure what that is find your collarbone then grab the muscle that's right above it. You should be able to pinch it. 
If it feels rock hard, this will be a little challenging for you. But try to find your collarbone, grab a chunk of, uh, of neck just above it. Make sure you're not behind your throat or your, uh, or your actual neck column. You want to be kind of on the side in these uh, upper neck muscles from here. Take the ball, place it right over here. Make sure you're not pressing into any kind of bone or you're not pressing into your actual uh, back of your neck. You want to be on the side here. Once you have that there, we're gonna lie face up, or you can just do it with your hand. So either massage with your hand like so, or we're gonna lie face up. Place it in that area, and just gently crest our arm up and down. Just slowly massaging your arm up and down. And again, you're already pressing into the muscle, you don't wanna be pressing into any bone, you don't wanna be pressing into your actual neck, just into the muscly part right here. Just gently sway your arm back and forth. You want to move at a slow speed. Just really take your time with it. We're here for about 30 more seconds, so really take your time. Uh, use a soft ball, necessarily like a tennis ball or a yoga ball if you have those at home. About 25 more seconds, so just really slowly and gently working. Or the alternative, is taking a ball and just hand massaging it yourself right into here. So right into here. I'll show you from the back. Right along. Okay, you don't want to be anywhere near here or down here. You want to be right here. All right, so about 10 more seconds. Just slowly working through that whole area. If something is not working for you, or if you have any requests, feel free to post it and I'll get to it. Still have about 12 minutes. So really work through. About 10 more seconds. 10. 9. And 5. 4. 3. 2. And 1. Now switching sides. So you want to be in the upper trap area, right along here. So make sure you're not uh, make sure you're not in your actual neck or in your shoulder. You want to be in the upper traps right here. And from there, you can either use your hand, and just massage all the way through, or take your arm and slowly press it up and down while you're on the floor. up and down for about 20 more seconds. So take your time, slowly kind of massage your work into that area as best you can. If you don't feel comfortable, you don't have to do it. Feel free to just use your own arm and kind of just massage wherever you feel dead. That's A-OK -okay too. About 12 more seconds. And if you can, try to breathe in slowly and breathe out slowly. Fine to do it from the floor. I'll show you both variations. So uh, we're just going to go for a nice um, hip opener. We're just going to put our feet together and let our knees fall to the side and kind of stretch open our, our groin and our hips. Uh, if you don't have a roller, that's fine. You can just do it from the floor. So line face up again. Try to align your head, your shoulders, and your tailbone with the roller. Have your palms out. Feet together, let your knees fall to the side. Just slowly feel a stretch <clears throat> on the inside of the thighs. If you don't quite feel it here, that's fine. Just try to, you can lay your legs extend a little bit and try to push your knees towards the floor. If you don't have a roller, from the floor is a-okay. Feet down, same position, just let your knees fall to the side. Just try to feel a stretch on the inner thigh. Just slowly gonna work 
let that stretch and open up. So for about 20 more seconds here, then we're going to switch to rolling uh, on the inner thigh with either the ball or the roller. So about 15 more seconds here. this 90 degrees, we're going to have it out, we're going to take the roller, place it on the inside of the thigh, and roll right from the groin, right to the inside of the, of the knee, and roll right back and forth. If you don't have a roller, <coughs> you can use a ball, that's fine. And same position, you're going to roll back and forth, right along the inside of the thigh, massaging right along here. Going, feel free to use the foam roller or the ball. Either one's okay. We'll be here for another 20 seconds. side with the hockey ball. Same place on the inside of the thigh. We just really massage and work right along that whole inside. For about 30 more seconds. just a um, upper neck relaxation and release. So if you have a peanut, uh, great, we're going to use this. Uh, if you don't, uh, I wouldn't recommend using just one ball. We can just do it from the floor and just try to breathe slowly and evenly. So if you can, uh, take your peanut. If you don't have a peanut, two tennis balls and a sock work excellent. Just put it in a sock, tie a little knot, and then these function just like a peanut roll. Line face up, we're going to place this right along the middle here. And our goal is to line face up. <clears throat> we're just going to slowly just nod up and down and massage right along the center. Just slowly working through any kind of extra tension right along there. A 
if you don't have a peanut roller, you just lie face up, try to slowly breathe in, and just go for some gentle leg movements. Try to release and stretch as best you can. That's fine too. Um, I wouldn't recommend using just one. Try to just slowly work up and down. Moan, groan, ah, grease, feel, yes. That's exactly the, uh, the feedback I'm looking for. <laughs> you guys are doing amazing. So keep going slowly, just massaging up and down. We're gonna go for another 30 or so seconds. And once we're done that, we're gonna go back to some deep breathing and a little bit of mindfulness. So for about 30 more seconds, just try to slowly stretch and roll the best you can. Deep breaths. And about 15 more seconds. You guys are doing amazing. Now I can't see all of you, but I'm sure you're doing great. About seven more seconds. So a deep breath in. And deep breath out. Okay. So from here. Uh, we're gonna go to a little bit more mindfulness and stretching. So we're gonna put everything aside. We're gonna put our roller and balls to the side. We're gonna sit in a nice uh, open position. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit in lotus, half lotus, whatever is the most comfortable for you. Now from this position with our legs crossed or in full lotus if you can, we're gonna breathe in for seven seconds. As you breathe in, I want you to try to expand your ribs as much as you can. Push out your stomach, really breathe in through your belly. Inhale as much as possible, stretch your ribs, open up through your neck, chest, and shoulders. Then as you exhale, I want you to squeeze as hard as you can. Pull in your stomach, push the air as hard as you possibly can, and really use your core to breathe. So from here, sitting up nice and tall, roll the shoulders back, hands wherever you're comfortable, either on your knees, on here, if you want to use a wall to support you, that's fine too. Whatever you need to sit as comfortably as possible. Um, if sitting is uncomfortable, you can also do this lying down. That's fine too, whichever one works for you. Uh, you don't have to have your eyes open. You can just listen to the sound of my voice. So here, eyes open or eyes closed, it doesn't matter. Roll those shoulders back. We're going to breathe in for a seven and then breathe out for a seven. And I'll count you through. Starting in three, two, and one. Breathing in. One, two, three. Keep breathing in. Four. Expand those ribs. Open up that stomach. Seven. And breathe out. <sighs> Try to squeeze in your core. Push through your ribs. Pull in that diaphragm. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze. Push that air out as best you can. Now we're going to breathe in. And seven. Five. Four. Breathing in. Three. One, and breathing out, seven, six, five, push, four, squeeze your core, two, one, three more breaths, breathing in, seven, expand your ribs, push open that stomach, one, and breathe out, squeeze, Push, 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 squeeze that stomach in, press into your core, squeeze your ribs together, really push that air out. Two more, breathing in, seven. Open up as much as you can, stretch those ribs, push open that stomach, breathe in as much as you can. And breathing out, seven, six, five, push, four, squeeze, three, two, one. One more breath, breathing in, seven. Five, four, three, deep breath in, two, one, and a big push out, seven, six, squeeze, five, push, four, three, two, one, excellent. Thank you all so much for coming. I appreciate all of you attending. I appreciate all of you uh, connecting, tuning in, and commenting. Thank you all so much. I'm just going to grab Dorota here to see if we get in the live stream. In the meantime, feel free to post how you're feeling. Uh, if there's anything you want for next time, I'm more than happy to. It's nice to see you too. 
Yeah, feel free to post any uh, requests for next time just so I can be mindful of it. Um, if the audio was good, if the location was good, let us know. Just so when we do this again, which we plan to, uh, you guys have a great experience. So if I can grab your own for one second. Double check the comments. That was great. Thank you, everyone. I miss you all too. Okay, thank you so much. See you guys later.